Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. We really appreciate you guys stopping by and I hope you all are doing well. Um, I had these sausages in my freezer. They are Montreal steak seasoning. We've never had them before. Here's a close up of the package right here. And here is um, one on my plate. So Howard grilled these. So this is mine, I just like a little bit mustard, like a little bit of mustard, excuse me. And this is Howard's plate and um, he put this Hawaiian barbecue seasoning spicy on this particular hot dog and it's grilled. Um, the other one he boiled. So you can see there's a difference in the color right there. He said he just wanted to see how it tasted boiled. So um, he boiled one. And on that hot dog, he just has some regular old Heinz ketchup. We are having some Hawaiian kettle style potato chips. We first tried these out in Hawaii. Uh, we were there a couple of years ago. And this is sweet Maui onion flavor. Now, when we left Hawaii, I went to Walmart and picked up some bags of these chips because I love them so much. And then we had a store closing here in Dallas. Um, it's called World Market and they actually happen to have these. So I saw a bag and I grabbed them. And then um, the buns that we're using are from Walmart. I had to go to Walmart yesterday just to see if they had some items. I'm particularly looking for toilet paper. Um, they still didn't have that at my Walmart, but they finally had bread. So um, I grabbed a pack, pack of hot dog buns and one pack of hamburger buns that I put in the freezer so that we could have them at a later date. And I just use, like I said, yellow mustard on my hot dog. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. I picked this up from Aldi the other week and we actually got this last year and we really liked it a lot. So I got, um, last year I got the Korean, excuse me, the Korean style spicy barbecue chicken, which is this one. And then I also got the teriyaki chicken. Uh, last year and also this year. So the teriyaki chicken's in my fridge. But um, this comes with the grilled chicken and noodles and sauce and fried onions. So here it is. Um, it had a lid on top of it. Take the lid off. And you've got some chicken breast in here. You got two packages of noodles. You've got um, the sauce and then you've got the onions. And so let me flip this over so you guys can see the directions. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, here it is. So all you do is just pour everything into your skillet or wok. And then it says you can add some fresh vegetables or favorite vegetables if you want. And so that's what I am doing. I have some fresh broccoli in my fridge and I am just kind of uh, cooking that up first and then I'll add everything else. But I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's finished. All right, y'all, so dinner is done. That literally took about 10 minutes. You can see the fresh broccoli in there, the baked chunks of chicken, and um, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco salads, and let me show you what I used for my fridge and freezer. So in my freezer, I have these Azteca taco salad shells. Um, if you've been following our channel for a while, you know how much I love these things and I can't always find them. So when I did find them several months ago, I bought a whole bunch and I put them in my freezer. And they are flower shells and they come with those formers that you see right there. And all you do is lay the tortilla um, on the formers and you bake them and this is how they turn out. They are really good and crunchy. Um, also for my pantry, I had this bottle of taco seasoning um, for a while actually. And so um, normally I would go out and don't ask me why, but I would go out and buy packages of taco seasoning even though I had this in the pantry. And so, you know, because of the coronavirus and I can't just run out and buy stuff that I want, I am being forced to use this, which I actually like. It's just like I said, I don't know, just have it buying the taco packets. And then in the freezer, I found um, this salsa verde cheese at the 99 cent store a while back ago. And they had all these packages of cheese for 99 cents. So I bought a bunch of them and stuck them in my freezer. So we were having that. And then also in my freezer, I had ground beef and then I bought some shredded lettuce um, 
earlier, I think it was, I don't know, end of last week is when I bought some shredded lettuce. So this is my taco salad. Um, I just have my um, meat on top of lettuce and then I have the cheese and salsa. This is Howard's taco salad. He puts all of his toppings on the bottom of his shell. So on the bottom of his shell, he has sour cream. He has salsa, actually he has red and green salsa, the lettuce, uh, the ground beef, cheese, and, and that's it. He puts everything, like I said, on the bottom of the shell. Um, so anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some grilled chicken. Howard grilled some we, um, some legs for us today, excuse me. So this one is just barbecue, regular old barbecue. And on this one, he put some jerk seasoning. We are having some shells and white cheddar from Annie's. And here is the box. This is something that I had in my pantry that um, I wanted to use up, of course. And then we are having some microwave corn, the steamer kind. And we are using the one from Aldi. Again, using up what we have. For dessert, I made these cupcakes from the Cheesecake Factory. I had this in my pantry for a while and wanted to use it. So um, it makes 12 regular size cupcakes or six jumbo cupcakes. So that is what I made. I made the six jumbo cupcakes. We ate one um, earlier, we wanted to try it out and we both really liked it a lot. Howard is not a cupcake person and definitely not an icing person and he really liked it. So this little, um, kit comes with the um, the mix for the cupcake and then also the vanilla frosting. To the vanilla frosting uh, mix, you have to add some cream cheese and butter. And here it is. So I split one open so that you guys could see what it looks like. And um, it's good. It's very dense, but it's, it's cooked well. Um, it has a very fine crumb on it. So this is it. And I actually have one more in the pantry to you, so I was really shocked that Howard liked it because he does not like cupcakes at all, really. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a tart from Chater Joe's. It is one that I have made before that Howard and I really like. Uh, French style flatbread with mushrooms. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that cheese, and Parmesan. And like I said, it was, um, we got it from Trader Joe's. It was in our freezer. And this is what it looks like. You bake it on the um, cookie sheet in the oven at 450. It's supposed to be like 10 minutes. So we ended up baking it for maybe 13, 14 minutes. So um, get a close up for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time.